Hi guys, welcome to my channel and um, hope you're well. My name is Natalie. If you are new here, then welcome. I hope you enjoy this video. If you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. You know, I still hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about the living and active word of God. All right, so I sat down to record this video and I was actually thinking, what I was thinking about was, you know, when we receive a word, you know, through prophecy or a word of knowledge or a word of wisdom, what happens, you know, when we receive that word? And I was actually thinking about the life of David, who received the word for his life at a very young age, anointed to be king, um, but that manifestation didn't actually happen until 28 years after he'd received that word, right? And, you know, as I sat down, I, I you know, I came across Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it says, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrows. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. All right, now I really wanna focus on the first part of that, which talks about the word of God being alive, right? And then you think about the parable of the sower in Matthew chapter 13, which actually, where Jesus explains you know, how we receive different words and actually what might happen when some of those words don't actually take root or take hold in our lives, all right? So there comes a time in people's lives where they might feel a certain level of frustration because maybe they've heard things and, you know, they've been poured into and they've been, been prophesied over and they think, why is this thing not happening? And certainly I've been in that situation where God has revealed something to me, God has given me a word you know and then I kind of stop and I think what do I do next because God reveals things in parts you know so I don't always have the full picture and we won't always have the full picture but actually what this word is telling us is that the word of God is living and active all right now if you look at the parable of the sower where there were three examples that were given um for how the words were dispersed and actually then received you know using the analogy of a farmer planting and, and, and sowing seeds you know some fell on hard rocky ground where you know it, it just didn't fall into the soil the soil wasn't good enough to to receive um that seed then you have the words or the seeds sorry that were taken by birds that came and just swooped in and took them then you have the ones that were actually received and um, and um rooted into the soil and actually sprouted up and grew so that analogy really just explains it all about the living active word of God. Now this isn't going to be a very long video because I really just want to come on here to encourage someone who's received a word. It may have been yesterday, it may have been years ago, where you think, God, when is this thing going to happen? Now the book of Isaiah says that the word of God shall not return to him void. It will accomplish everything that it has been sent out to achieve. All right, so what does that tell us? It tells us that there might come a time, okay, when that word will manifest. You know, for everything there is a time, there is a time for everything, okay? The vision is for an appointed time. All of those words have been given to us to encourage us, okay, to keep going in whatever situation you're facing where it doesn't look like that thing that God has revealed to you or that thing that someone has said to you or that message that has been delivered to you from God doesn't seem as though it's ever going to come to pass or you feel as though you've reached a stage in your life where you feel unworthy of some of those things that God has said over you, has promised you, all right? Those words, you have a responsibility you know, to continue to have faith, you know, to continue to open your heart to receive from God so that those words do not die, those words are not choked out by fear or by doubt or even by sin, all right? You have a responsibility to work with God to make sure those words remain alive and active until there comes a time when they become manifested, all right? So this is really just a very, very short encouragement that whatever situation you're going through, however confusing it may seem at the moment, you have received that word. Hold on to that word. Don't let it be taken, taken away from you. All right? Don't let your heart be hardened by doubt or by fear because you feel as though that thing that God has promised you will never come to pass. Do not let that word die unless it has manifested. Okay? Do not let that word be... Do not be discouraged 
you know, by others who might look at you and say, how on earth do you think you're going to do that? That is never going to happen. Those are the birds coming to swoop down and take the seeds that have been sown in your life. All right. The word of God is living and active. Remind yourself of that. That word that God has given you, it's alive. It needs to remain alive. Okay, and the only way it can remain alive is not through your own power. It It is is by the special grace of God. Okay, it is by how much we allow him to direct our parts. The Bible also says in Proverbs 3 verse 5, lean not on your own understanding. It is not your understanding that's going to make those things come to pass. It's not your hard work that's going to make those things come to pass. Okay, that word has been spoken. It's very much alive. It's active. It's, It's working its way towards manifestation. All right, so you need to even like more than ever once you've received that word is to get closer to God. I've seen people who have received a word of prophecy and have literally just taken a step back and thought, oh, well, you know, God has just told me I'm going to be rich. So <laughs> I'm just going to go live my best life. No. Okay. It's even more imperative that you remain focused. You press on in faith. You know, you have to press on in faith. You, The devil will try whatever he can to prevent that word from becoming alive, to prevent that word from taking root and growing, to prevent that word from actually being planted into your spirit, into your soul, into your heart, okay? And I pray you will not let that happen. I pray that the enemy will not have victory, okay? Because we have the victory. We have already been assured of the victory in Christ. So we need to stand on that word. We need to stand on that promise. We need to stand in faith and believe that that word that God has spoken will manifest and it will come to pass. Okay, so I really do hope you're blessed by that. Like I said, it was a very, very short message, but take encouragement if you are going through a situation where you feel as though you've received a word and it's just not, it doesn't seem as though it's happening. Continue to trust in God, allow him to lead you. Okay, we're not doing this, but with our own brains. God has revealed a part of what's to come. You know, so it's not by our own power. He revealed it to us for a reason. And whatever that reason is, do not let it die. All right, so I pray for whoever's watching this video, whoever's listening, that the Lord will continue to strengthen you in faith to receive every single promise he has made for you, that you will not be be, um, distracted by fear or by doubt, but you will stand on the sure promise of the word of God, which will not fail. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you're blessed um, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.